Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and today we are doing yet another wild rag knot. The last one we did, called the Windsor Knot, did pretty well, so it seems as if all of you enjoy these types of videos. Today, we are doing this really fancy knot here. Uh, from what I know, it's called the cowboy knot. So stick with me and I'm gonna show you how to tie it. So the first step in the cowboy knot, or if anybody at home knows the actual name for this designated knot type, uh, please let me know. But this is where we are gonna start from. Have your wild rag in a giant triangle, like so. Then following this, for the sake of not having a flat surface around me, I am just gonna whip it around itself. And we, <laughs> I use my knee there for support, we're gonna to try to get in a straight line. I would suggest laying the cloth down on the flat table and rolling that triangle up. Uh, very precise and you get a, a little bit better, but since we're out on the frontier, we're just gonna throw it over itself like so. So you're gonna take this piece of silk that you just wrapped over its other and you're gonna put it behind your neck. Now I tie my knots with it inside my collar so I don't have to do it later and you can kind of get an idea of how tight you want it once you get to that point but we'll get there okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to you know measure out our tails our ends and one side me being right-handed my right side is going to be a good bit longer than the left because the right is going to be doing most of the work or if you're left-handed the left would do most of the work first thing we're going to do take your ends in each hand and you're going to throw the right hand side over the left like this now come up with your right hand and grab it and bring it back over. You just wrapped the longer side around the shorter side, just like so. Now we're in the same position, but we just have a little material meshed in the middle and that's where we're gonna proceed from. Take the longer side and you're gonna come up through the neck and around all that other material. The longer side still stays in your right hand and the shorter side still stays in your left. So now we're at this position, and this is, like I said earlier, where you adjust it to how tight you kind of want it to be, and your sides are still roughly the same as which they started from. What you're going to do, now that you've just put the longer end through the neck, you are going to take the right hand side and wrap it across again. However, this time, we're going to stop here, and we are going to go up through the neck, like so. And I need a little help from my left hand there. That's no problem. And here is where we are now. So after you concluded that last part, you are gonna take the piece of fabric when you wrapped it the second time and you are gonna open it up, which is also the part that came up through your neck and you're gonna feed it through the neck and open it up and send the longer side through that little piece of fabric. And once you tighten it up, you have your cowboy knot. So it works just like a tie. So if you want it a little bit looser, whichever end was the shorter end, so it would be my left. I'm just gonna put my hand on the knot and I'm gonna yank it like that. Now, my neckerchief is looser. But say it's getting a little chilly outside and I want it a little bit closer to my neck. More fabric around a delicate spot where I don't want the wind or the precipitation hitting me. I'm just going to take that knot again and I'm going to grab the left hand side and I'm just going to push up and now it's all the way on my neck. Just like so. It's really simple, really pretty and after I go to a mirror and figure this all out and straighten it all up, we are going to see our finished product. And there you have it. There is your finished product or at least how I wear 
the cowboy knot, or whatever the real name is, if that is the real name. I tuck it into my vest, and it has a nice little accent piece right above the V of my vest here, right in between the lapel, and I have it tucked around my neck like so. It's very distinguished, and like I mentioned in an earlier video, you are now a distinguished frontiersman. Some of you might even want to pull out the extra material from the back of your neck and kind of drape it, kind of like an old school way of doing it, where you uh, have the big triangle like this. You put it around your neck like so. You could do it like that. It's, it's really up to you if you want how much material you want kind of flowing in the wind. So I guess if you wanted to hang a little bit like this, obviously it's not perfect because I just threw it together quick, but if you wanted more of the material hanging off your back there, you could do it like this as well. But that is the cowboy knot, and I appreciate everybody for getting this far into the video. I figured since the Windsor knot a few weeks ago did really well, it's something that everyone was interested in, and it is very aesthetically pleasing when you can put together such a pretty knot. And at this point, I think I've done four or five or six knots on this channel. So you really have an arsenal of the different knots you can throw together with your wild rag. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me what I should do next. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late, but for those of you who have come across this video or this channel and you've yet to hit that subscribe button, think about doing so because you're a daisy if you do.